Hi everyone, I'm Frank Somerville. So I wanted to talk this week about a story that I did last week because it taught me a great lesson about how there are so many people out there who want to help. You just have to give them a path to do it. The story was about a 75 year old guy named Richard Dubiel. He'd been working on his roof all by himself for three months. He's working to replace his roof. His neighbor, David Perez, saw what was happening and thought, you know what? 75 year old guy shouldn't be up there all alone working on his roof. And in fact, Richard actually fell one time. Luckily, he fell onto some wood and not onto the cement, or it could have been pretty serious. So David went on Facebook and he said, You know what? There's got to be some people out there who could help out here. If anybody's interested, can you contact me? And we'll all come down to Richard's house on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. and we'll just finish the job for him. We did a story on Richard and David. And then on Saturday, I wanted to see it for myself, so I drove down to Fremont. And as I got closer, I'll be honest here, I, I started thinking, what if no one shows up? What am I going to do? I mean, I really didn't know. I had no idea whether people were going to uh, stick to their word and come out and help. But as I turned the corner onto a street, there was Richard's house. And right on top of it, on his roof, were about 20 people just hammering away. It was so awesome to see. I just broke out into this big smile. I mean, it's hard to describe the feeling. It was just, it was so powerful because everyone was there because they wanted to. Everyone was there because they wanted to help out. It was people helping people, neighbor helping neighbor. And some of the stories were, were really awesome. One guy, Robert Valdez, brought his teenage son. They drove for an hour to get there. Robert told me, if you know how to do something and someone needs help, you help them. Another guy named Dwayne was planning on going to Yosemite that day, but when he heard about the call for volunteers, he told his wife they were changing their plans. He said, I've got to go help that guy. And those are just some of the stories. Another guy drove for three hours to get there. Three hours. And then there was this young kid who's a waiter. He worked till two in the morning and then showed up bright and early and he climbed up on the roof to help out even though he's afraid of heights. There were so many people working that day that they finished the job in about three hours. And what was really nice is that they let Richard hammer in the last shingle. And afterward, Richard got a little choked up. Uh, he was kind of at a loss for words. He said, I don't know what to say. Thank you. To which one of the volunteers said, no, thank you for letting us be a part of this. It's now a week later, and I'm still thinking about that story and thinking about the feeling uh, of being there. It was, it was so positive. There was just, there was so much spirit. It was, it, was, it was just awesome. I mean, I keep saying that, but it really was. Uh, as one guy said, I haven't had this much fun since I used to watch Saturday morning cartoons. And all of this made me realize that there is so much good out there. There are so many people out there who want to help, but in some cases they're either not sure how to help or they're just so busy with their daily lives that they don't necessarily think about it. But when you give them an avenue, when you give them a path to help, Look what happens. They all come out. I posted about that story, and the post went crazy. It reached 5 million people, 90,000 people liked it, 25,000 people shared it, 7,000 people left a comment. And one of my favorite comments was from the daughter of one of the guys who came to help that day. She put up a picture of her dad leaving and said, my dad usually gets home tired and sometimes frustrated, but today he'll be home with a smile, eager to talk about work. Give people a path to help and they'll show up. It's a great lesson I learned. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you again next week.